Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today's video, I'll be reviewing this. This is Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Paleotrex. And here he is in package. The first fossilizer, as you can see, here he is with his alternate mode of bones and his robot mode. Very nice looking box art. Inside of the box over here. And on the back of the box, you see he transforms in 32 steps and can attach as weapons like the weaponizers and the modulators. Okay, let's get this guy out of the package. Here's Paleo Trex out of the package. He comes with his instruction sheet. It's in very nice bright green, which makes it very easy to understand the instructions. He comes with a golden discard. And unfortunately, I already have this one. This is Optimus Prime. And if you reveal his destiny, he is destined to die, apparently. He comes with his weapon, which is, I guess, some sort of baton or blunt weapon, which becomes his tail in beast mode. And Polarotrex himself. Let's take a closer look at him here. Very cool looking head sculpt. I don't know. I like it a lot. It looks different. Now, he does have this battle mask, which kind of makes him look like Skeletor. Gives him a bit more of an organic look. But I actually prefer the robot head. See the Predacon symbol on the chest. Some nice paint apps all around to give him a little bit more depth. And on the back as well. I may go back and do some dry brushing though on this guy just to highlight all the edges. I think it would look really cool being that it is a fossil. Speaking of fossils, he is a fossilizer, which is the gimmick for the deluxe class figures of Kingdom. With Earthrise, we had modulators with the MicroMaster bases and with Siege, we had weaponizers. Now the cool part with the new fossilizer gimmick, it seems like we're getting a lot of new characters, uh, well, at least for the Predacons. While it's nice to get remakes of G1, Optimus Prime, Wheeljack, Bumblebee, etc., I really like it when you get new characters because, you know, it's like a fresh, clean slate. There's no preconceived notions for Paleotrix, which means there's new stories out there to explore for this character. Let's put on his weapon here. He does have a 5mm port on his claw. Now one could assume having a weapon made out of bone is probably not that effective, but I think the fossilizers are only made to look like bone, but are made of actual Cybertronian metal or steel. I mean, just like the Autobots and Decepticons in their vehicle mode, I don't think they're made out of thin steel or even Soundwave. Soundwave would be made out of plastic. Moving on to articulation of the figure, the head can rotate 360, the arm can rotate 360, move up the shoulder this much on both arms, can rotate at the bicep, bend at the elbow. I guess you can count this as wrist rotation and his claws have some articulation as well. He can rotate at the waist 360, he can do the splits. He can kick this far up, this far back, bend at the knee this much. He does have a little bit of thigh rotation. Unfortunately, no ankle tilt, but it is understandable why. And for some size comparisons, here is Paleotrex next to Netflix Optimus Prime and Earthrise Runabout. And here he is next to Kingdom Cheetor and Kingdom Vertebrake. Okay, let's get Paleotrex transformed into his fossil mode. Here is Paleotrex in his dinosaur fossil mode. Now, I don't know what dinosaur this is based on, but I do know someone who would, and that is Crimson Raptors. I'll put a link to his channel in the description below and in the card above. Please check him out. I'm pretty sure he would know exactly what dinosaur this fossil is based on. But uh, yeah, don't know much about dinosaurs. All I do know though is this guy looks really cool in his fossil mode. I'm, I'm liking it a lot. I wish they would have put some sort of bio at, at least on the Transformers website just to give us a little bit of insight 
on this character. Very nice paint apps and gradation. Again, I'm thinking of dry brushing this whole figure because I think it would make the details pop out a lot more. Now in this mode, he does have some articulation here with the mouth. He can move up and down here, but that's pretty much it, no left and right. The tiny arms are on the ball joint, so you do have some articulation there. And on the legs, you have the most articulation uh, in this mode with all the little joints here. The tail, I guess you can move up and down like so, but that's about it. Again, with these modes, you're not really expecting a ton of articulation, but uh, I think he has more than enough. Very nice looking. And for some size comparisons, here he is next to Earthrise Optimus Prime and Siege Mirage. You can see, matches very well as a dinosaur fossil. And here he is next to Core Class Vertebrake, two fossils. Now, I don't know if he's considered a fossilizer because he doesn't break into any pieces, but they are both dinosaur fossils. Okay, let's get Paleotrex separated into his individual fossilizer parts. Here is Paleotrex in his fossilizer pieces. There are 11 individual components, and I'll have a few examples of him being used on Kingdom Warpath because that is the example they used in the instructions. But of course, you can use him with other figures as well. So my final thoughts on Kingdom Paleotrex. Well, as a standalone figure, I, I actually like it a lot. I like the fossil mode. I like the design uh, for robot mode as well. It's just so different from your standard transformer design. Um, but as a fossilizer with that gimmick he, where he separates into parts and attaches to other figures, I'm not completely sold on it. Maybe I'm just not trying hard enough yet with the different combinations, but the base combinations in the instructions were just, uh, I'm just not feeling it. I don't know, it's probably just a personal preference. In fact, I wouldn't mind if it was just a transforming fossil. Um, I think he'd be very cool as a standalone, just like that. Now, what I would like is more information on this character. I find the design very fascinating. It'd be very cool if they posted some bio on their website, just so we can learn more about this new character. Anyway, that is it for this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe. Follow us on social media and check out our Discord. Links in the description below.